In this video, we're going to learn how to make a form, which is something we use in a database to make it easier to see records and to edit their data. In our last little video, we uh, made our link table, which allowed us to connect together actors and films. And in fact, if we look in actors now, we can expand some actors using this plus icon, and you can see that related to Eddie Redmayne are films two, three, and four. Uh, related to Felicity Jones, actually she was also in uh, film two, which is a theory of everything, so let's add her in. And you can very easily add it in, but it's a bit of a pain, because I need to always look up the film number if I'm then going to add that person in, um, if I'm going to add that film to that person's record. So it's not ideal, so we could do with a better way of doing this. So let's just close down and tidy things up. And we're going to go back into our access table. Um, so we start off by wanting to create um, a basic form, and access gives us a wizard to help us do that. So with our access table open, go to create, and click on form wizard. And where it says tables queries, make sure you've got the access table selected, and we're going to make all of these fields available in our form. So just use this button to select all. We also want all the information from our films table. So you could do films. And again, click the double chevrons here to send over all that information to. Press next once that's done. And you need to make sure that you have, you're going to be viewing your data by actor. So that should be selected. And we want a form with sub forms. And then press next. And that's fine to leave it in data sheet view. Press next. And we're going to give our form a name. Well, this is going to show us actors and their films. So let's call it actors and films. And we want to open the, the um, form to enter some information. So let's press finish. So here's our form. And we've got a bit. This is now showing us all the information about our actors and the films they're in, but in a much nicer format than using the boring old table view. So if I go through some records, I can scroll through them using these buttons. And we can go to Felicity Jones, and you can see where I've entered that she's in Theory of Everything. That has recorded. Uh, Eddie Redmayne, there's his films. And if I keep going through to Johnny Depp, there's his Twitter name that we added earlier. But it could still do with some improvement. It looks a bit boring right now. Uh, so we're going to change its design. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the View menu and choose design view. And the first thing we might want to do is change this pretty bland and insipid baby blue banner. So let's click in the form header. This appears at the top of our page. Let's go to format, shape fill, and I'm going to have a nice rich blue, a bit of a navy blue. Now I can't read the text very easily, so let's click on the title, and let's change from here to white so it stands out. I'm also going to change the text here a little bit. Let's say call it actors and the films they are in. So it's a little bit more descriptive. And we can resize how much space we're giving. Just make that a bit smaller. Bring it up. And we can just drag up our form header a little bit so that we're using less space for the big header. Um, if we now go to home and form view. Already, I think that looks a bit bolder and a bit nicer, but there's plenty more that we can do. For example, in the design view, we can change the layout of these boxes a little bit. Um, here it says films. Let's change that to films they are in. And I'd like to make this list of films to go underneath that heading. To do that, you have to click to select the thing you want to move and then grab your mouse over this little grey box in the top left corner and drag it underneath the header. We can make it a bit wider. It's quite useful how they give you the grid to line everything up against. OK, and now if you go back to your view, form view, you can see that looks a bit neater. Let's go through again to Eddie Redmayne, and there's his films, films they're in. And there's our information about him. 
And we could have changed all sorts of aspects. We could change how bold or how strong all of these boxes are. We could make these boxes smaller so they don't use up quite as much width. Um, and we could have put it into columns. We could have moved them around. That's entirely up to you how you want to design your form. So go away and do that. And let's just get your own forms made with a little bit of color and maybe changing the layout a little bit. And once you've done that, come back and carry on watching the rest of this video where we're going to add some buttons and a logo into our form. Okay, so you should now have created your own form and it should look nice and pretty, probably better than mine. We're going to add some navigation buttons now because these ones are quite small. Uh, we're going to add some bigger buttons for moving back and forward between the films. And also we're going to add um, a logo as well. So we're going to go back into our form design view. And let's create a little bit of space for our navigation buttons. So we're going to put them in the header. So I'm going to make that a bit bigger. And I'm in my design um, ribbon. And this button with the X's on is actually the button button. So if we click on that, and we can drag where we want a button, and it will get a command button wizard and asks us, well, what sort of thing do we want to do with this button? And actually, I want this one to be go to the very first record. Press next, and I want the default picture. Press next again. Let's give it a name, CMD for command, first record. That will just help us if we need to reference this button later. Press finish, and now I've got a nice first record button. I'll do the same for a last one. Record navigation, maybe um, go to last record. Let's call it command last record. Finish. Okay, and that's next to it. And actually, probably make life a bit easier for us. So let's put in between just one backwards and one forwards. So we're going to create another button. We're going to go to the mm, previous record. Command prev record. And one more button. Command is going to go the next record. CMD next record. Now, if I press finish, you'll see I've got four buttons there. Need a little bit of lining up. And we can try them out by going back to our form view. And here we go. I'm going through my form. And I can go to the last one. And I can go to the first one. Super easy. So we're just missing a logo, which we can add now. So I've been making a bit of a logo, pretty basic one here, um, in uh, logomaker.com. So I'm going to download this. Oops, let's move that slightly. I'm going to download it by pressing the, the floppy disk icon. And it goes into my downloads. Okay, so that's going to be in my downloads. I'll find that in just a second. Let's go back into my form design. And I'm going to add uh, a logo. So I want to insert image. Browse. Go to my downloads. And if I order it by date modified, it'll find my most recently downloaded file. Press OK. And, oh, didn't mean to do that. I've managed to put that over that button, which was a bit of a mistake. Tell you what, I've messed that button up, so let's just re-add that button that went to the last record. Okay. Right, let's make sure you haven't got anything selected when you insert an image. Oh, that's nice. It's actually remembered it in my image gallery because I've already loaded it once, which is good. So I can click on it and I can just drag where I want it to appear. And it's not very easy to see because I've put it on a, I haven't uh, thought about the fact that it's not going to be on a white background. So maybe I'm going to have to change my design a little bit and actually give myself a lighter background 
and darker text. So you might want to think about that when you're making your own forms. OK, if I now go back to home, form view, there's my form. I've got my logo. I've got my buttons. And now I want you to go and do the same on your databases.